hey, real quick, before you start this video, just know that this kid just committed minutes ago. That's why I had to come back and record this part to put in this video. He just committed. So anything that I say in this video going forward about y'all maybe getting him or there's a chance that y'all could get him, you got him. All right. So he's committed and, you know, enjoy the rest of the video. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. And for my Jackson State people, y'all have a very big speedster that is visiting y'all's campus as we speak and you probably are going to end up with him on your roster based on what i've seen on his social media of him posting during his visit and what he thinks about your facilities and everything so forth and the speedster's name is antonio gayden antonio gayden is a juco transfer now antonio runs a 4-3 officially a 4-3-5 that man's pretty fast now listen I've looked at every link that has this man's name in it. His height, his weight could not be found. Now, when I look on the JUCO's website, rarely ever do they update those things. So I didn't even want to tell you the stats, nor did I want to tell you uh, anything else that they had about it because they just don't update it. It's never updated. But let me tell you what I've seen from his film. This man is electric. Not just because he runs that 4-3. Right, but his acceleration, crazy. His bunnies, crazy. This guy is the is the guy that you would like to replace uh Robert Lockhart the third, since you know Robert Lockhart uh, just isn't gonna go to Jackson State. I don't know what happened between him and maybe Jackson State didn't honor his uh scholarship once Prime left, but he was you know, he's visiting FAMU and he may end up with FAMU. He's still looking for a home. But as for Antonio. This would be the perfect guy because he's, he's faster. Number one, he has more experience at the collegiate level, playing at the Juco level. So he's ready to go right now. And this is a guy who could be a big playmaker for you guys. Now, when it comes to Antonio, he has offers from Middle Tennessee State, Jackson State, Bethune-Cookman, Utah State. So he could go to the FBS level if he chooses and it looks like he's visited Middle Tennessee State before and he looks like he enjoys his time there. But I think Jackson State has a really good shot at landing Antonio Gayden. Because let me tell you something, man. That type of speed, 4-3-5, that's, you can't coach that. You can't even coach players to defend that. You just got to hope that they're able to hit him in the mouth because that's the only way you can stop speed like that. He's blazing. He can contribute a kick return and punt return. And of course, he could take the top off your defense on offense. And with a guy like Jason Brown at quarterback, or even Phillip Short at quarterback, PJ Hatter, whoever, Zion McDonald, whoever is going to be the starting quarterback for Jackson State with that with those arms that they have, you can throw it as deep as you want to, and Antonio is going to be down there waiting to catch it. So listen, y'all let me know what you think about this man down below in the comment section. And if this is a player you believe you will get, and if you are excited about the possibility of signing Antonio. But with that being said, you are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr, and I'm out. Peace.